Here are five things you must know if you're learning programming in 2025. The first one is AI won't replace developers. I know this is a very controversial topic right now, but yeah, AI won't replace developers, but a developer who knows how to use AI well will definitely replace somebody who refuses to use AI. Because AI can make the average developer way faster. And if you can fail faster, you can definitely produce faster. So if you're learning how to code in 2025, also learn how to code using AI tools. Learn how to code, then learn how to program faster using these AI tools. The second thing you should know is that developer jobs are not going anywhere. If you're scared because of the hype of AI, if you're scared because of the noise, at least take a look at what the data says. Take a look at what analysts say. And developer jobs are projected to rise over 30% within the next five years. So if you're scared about any noise you hear out there, at least trust the data because numbers hardly lie. The third thing you should learn how to do is to be discerning. Learn how to question a narrative and do not believe everybody who says AI is going to take their jobs. Because one thing you should take note of is that a lot of these influential people in tech who pushes the narrative that AI is going to take job, most of the times are the people who are building these AI tools. And if they are building these AI tools, obviously it's of their best interest to push the narrative that these tools are going to take jobs so that more people can buy into them and they make more money. It doesn't mean that these tools are not useful. It just means that you should be careful of the information you consume and believe. What is the motive of this person saying? Do they have any benefit to the narrative that are pushing forward? So instead of only listening to these people, do your own research, actually go look at the job market and look at if you can learn the skills and contribute in your own way. The fourth thing you should know is that when you're learning, do not spend too much time watching tutorials or taking lessons. Watch tutorials, take lessons, then build. This is the fundamental process that you're going to do, rinse and repeat anytime you want to learn a programming language or anytime you want to learn any tech skill. You take the lessons, follow the program, then build. And this is exactly what we are doing in our full stack development training at the Programmers University. We first start by teaching the lessons, then giving you projects to build. So if you're interested, check the link in my bio. And finally, the fifth thing you should do is to join tech communities. Isolation kills momentum. If you want to stay accountable, be consistent, and keep learning even when it gets difficult, try joining communities. There are several free communities online. You can join communities on Twitter, on Facebook, or any platform, but make sure to be with a group of people who share the same interests. Join a space, collaborate with others, and keep the momentum going. If this video was helpful, leave a like and see you in the next one.